Yo, we're here again. They're saying Battle Rap is dead. URL isn't posting battles on YouTube anymore. Chris and Bias came out with the stock drop list and the stock rise list. All kinds of shit going on. Mix for a good episode of Cha 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 on the drive home. <laughs> Yo, so uh, Smack comes out. He's doing an interview. And he comes out and says pretty much that uh, YouTube doesn't support battle rap. Uh, YouTube, you know, they're not paying much for battles anymore or for that kind of content. Um, you know, he said he gave 10 years of his life to YouTube and, you know, it's just not panning out. It's not working out. He can't afford to pay the battlers. He can't afford to put on events. He can't afford to do shit doing just YouTube, which I completely understand. Um, but what sucks about it is once you stop fucking with YouTube, you cut off a whole audience, right? A whole audience tunes in to YouTube for battle rap. The reason why all these people have no clue about what's going on in battle rap anymore, uh, especially for the major leagues, is because there's no YouTube drops. Now, RBE is taking advantage of this situation. They are doing YouTube drops. They are doing pay-per-views. They are doing that kind of shit. URL was okay because they had caffeine. And caffeine was doing the live streams, putting up all these money, all this money for battles, had Drake involved, all this shit. Well, that's dried up. Caffeine really isn't around much anymore. They're, they're not doing much for battle rap. There may be, I'm hearing a battle rap event with caffeine in March, you know. So they're on uh, track to do, what, four events this year? What's next year going to be? Only two events? And then what? So I think uh, Caffeine's pretty much backing out. They're seeing that their investment isn't really uh, panning out with Battle Rap. And, and they're going to other places. They're doing skateboarding and breakdancing and basketball and shit like that. Shit that's actually bringing views and attention to their to their channel. So anyways, uh, that's not going to be around much more anymo anymore. And Smack or the URL isn't interested in releasing very much on YouTube. Now, I have the app. I pay for the app. You know, whatever. What I don't like about the app is that there'll be an event, it looks fire, and then we won't see the battles for a month. Right? All the... You know, like, okay, the volume card, right? The volume card dropped on the app, but I haven't looked at a single, a single battle because I don't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I cared... That weekend, that week, leading up to it, maybe a week after, you know what I'm saying? I cared then, but like a month later when they finally dropped, like I don't, I don't even care anymore. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I don't know if their, if their, um, if their business plan is to only drop shit on the app right before next event. Like, I don't know. It's kind of whack, man. Like I, I, you know, we pay for the app. I would like to. You know, there's get a speed the battles ahead. within a week, at least, right? Well, there's still some yearning for the battles. Now that that's gone, it's like it just takes it just takes a whole. It just I don't know, man. It, it just it really sucks. Um, and it's also keeping a lot of battle rappers like um, not very visible. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 new battle rappers coming up. They're not very visible, and you know, to the masses, they're only on this app. And I, you know, I get it's cool for the diehard fans. You know, like me, we have the app. We're gonna tune in, right? But it's not. How's it gonna grow? How's it, how's it gonna grow? How are these new guys gonna really get exposure besides their old battles online? If everything is trapped. I don't know. You know, um, I don't know. It kind of sucks, but 
I mean, if that's their business plan, you know, more power to them. If they're making it work, if they're able to still put on events, if they're able to make money, pay battlers, and and do all that, you know, more power to you. But I just wish that even okay, it takes forever for battles to come out on the app. Fine, right? But even like old ass battles, they should at least drop those on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? There's battles that happened years ago. They could put that on YouTube. They're not getting that much traffic on the app. You know what I'm saying? O old ass battles. Like, if if the shit's been on an app for fucking two years, like, why not just drop it on YouTube? Or, why not put the new niggas on your YouTube channel so they can get more real life exposure instead of just app exposure. I don't know. But that's their thing. So we'll see. Um, URL had a great card this weekend uh, that just passed. Divide and Conquer. Um, I hear uh, Hollow to Don be ill will. I hear Big K murdered A Ward, which sucks for A Ward. I like A Ward, I also like Big K, but um, I've actually met both of them. I'm, uh, fingers crossed, gonna get A Ward out here in the Bay to battle my boy Fracavelli. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, what else happened? <laughs> Chris Umbias dropped the. <laughs> he dropped the. Uh, stock drop list and uh, it, it you know it really moves in the battle rap community it really shakes up things and he's talking shit I mean I, you know some of it's justified right like there are battlers and people involved in battle rap whose stock has dropped you know th their presence has decreased or their position has decreased or they've lost all year I get it but he has some parts in there where he's just going in on people like Debo, for example, right? He's just going in on Debo. I don't know where their drama starts um, or what that's all about, but he was going in on Debo. And I also met Debo. You know, seemed like a cool guy. Uh, he gave me the time of day, you know, answered a few of my questions down at the uh, caffeine event down there in LA. I don't know, the last summer or whatever. But, um, yeah, he's going in on on that on that, uh, <laughs> on that video. So you guys gotta check that shit out. Uh, Chris and Bias stock drop. The stock rise is also dope too. Give some attention to the stock rise too. That, that was also dope. Um, a lot of people we talked about there. It, it made sense. Um, what else? Um, the, it seems like the blog wars have calmed down. But everybody's still kind of sneak dissing each other. So I don't know if that's going to flare back up or whatever. Um, it seems like in the center of this is, is uh, Cola from Black, Black Compass Media. He seems to be the uh, epicenter of all this drama. Uh, which may or may not be a good thing. They say all publicity is good publicity. Um, what hurts though... Or what hurts is DNA Tooth said he's leaving Battle Rap. That fucking sucks. I love DNA Tooth. He's hilarious. <laughs> DNA Tooth is hilarious. DNA Tooth is needed in the culture. He's the only one exposing people. Right? And it's easy for him to expose people because he's posing as a puppet. Right? But he's the only one who exposes battle rappers for the BS. All this recycling that comes out, all this stealing bars, all you know, these pedophiles, these rapists, these all this shit that goes on in battle rap, he amplifies it and he makes it known. And he's he's he makes battle rap interesting. He makes battle rap pop. You know what I'm saying? And I know there's people that hate him. You know, maybe he's even ruined some careers. But battle rap loses its luster without 
DNA tooth. DNA's tooth is a necessity to battle rap. We need somebody objective where you can't see their face, where they can just give their opinion whether they like you or not, right? But for the most part, they're objective. Even people he likes, he still goes against them. He still got to put out information about them. You know what I'm saying? And he, he breaks it. He's hilarious, man. So it sucks. DNA's tooth is um, done. I mean, it must have been a headache. You know, every time somebody was going live, he would go live. There's a six-minute slowdown you know in four miles. You are still anytime, on the fastest uh, route. Anything that's going on. DNA Tooth is the first one on the job. I don't know what that motherfucker was doing all day. But he had all day <laughs> to make videos, edit videos, record spaces, record live streams. And he was getting the information and the message out to the people. Like, I could just, if I'm at work... I, and, I, and I flip over my YouTube, I don't have to go to all the channels to see what's going on. He's live on somebody's shit. And I can, I can tune in and see what's going on, and and boom. And, and that's not there anymore. That's not there anymore. He, he was very much a tool that I used, even for this, right? Like, a lot of information was easy to consume from DNA's tooth. So shout out DNA tooth. Bring your motherfucking ass back. There's people here that miss you, that want you. Bring your motherfucking ass back. Um, what else is going on? Um, they're doing a URL crucible out here in the Bay Area. I guess they're doing it this weekend. I'm going to try to pull up to that. I don't know exactly where it's going to be. It's going to be in the town, though, I heard. So I'm going to try to pull up to that and see what's good. You also got Remy Ma's card coming up. Um, another URL event coming up. Grizz Exam is having an event April 15th. Back out here in the Bay Area. So I'm going to check that shit out. Last event was fire. Magnitude uh, by Ron Compton is also having an event out here in the town around the same time as Grizz Exam's event. So I'm going to try to hit both of those up. Show some love, do some uh, blogs, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, there's the, uh, the battle rap blogger and media circuit isn't really prominent on the West Coast, it seems like. But they don't cover a lot of West Coast shit. There, there's a lot going on out here in the West Coast, and it's not being covered at all, really. So I want to do what I can to be that guy to give us some coverage out here because it seems like we all we got. Go on Eventbrite and purchase your tickets for Names No Bodies. I know it's some months away, May 27th, but um, it's going on out here in the town May 27th at the uh, RIC, Rock Ridge Improvement Club. Um, come through. It should be a good time. 